Welcome to Bait Factory TV. I'm Dom Garnett and we're at Marsh Farm today. Um, it's allegedly meant to be summer, but it's actually feeling pretty chilly. So I'm going to fish fairly fine today. I'm going to fish the pole. And we're after a net of tench, possibly the odd big crucian. And I'm going to be sharing some of my bait tips with you. And the first job we've got is to mix up some ground bait. And we're going to be using a simple mix today, which is going to be 50-50. We've got krill and crab, which is packed full of flavor. Nice sort of fish meal base mix. Um, we can also bulk that out with some brown crumb, about 50-50. So first rule is before we add anything else, we're going to mix the dry ingredients together really thoroughly. So. About the same of brown crumb. Oops. Whiz that together really thoroughly before we add any liquid. And we're going to add a little bit of water, and this is the time you want to add any liquid flavourings you've got. And in this case, we've got a matching krill and crab glug. We're going to mix a little bit in this. Slightly different consistency to the water, so we'll just need to whiz that up a bit. And that should do it. That's just going to make the mix a little bit more potent, a little bit stickier. So it should ball up really nicely. I'm just adding a little bit of water at a time. Trying to mix that as thoroughly as possible. We just really agitate it. We're also going to put a riddle through it in a second. And um, it, it's, not so much, it's not so much the lumps I'm worried about, but by doing this and by putting it through a riddle in a sec, what we're going to do is make sure there's plenty of air in the mix which will ensure that it really reacts when it, when it hits the water and disperses nicely. And then we need to just let it settle for a minute. In fact, this, the reason why I often do this job first is because it does take a few minutes to settle down. And obviously, um, if I do this first, then I can, uh, I can get baiting up quicker. I'll do this first and then I can set up my tackle. It just makes logical sense. Okay, I've let the mix settle for just a few minutes to really absorb the water. It's already dried out slightly. Uh, the next step is to add a little bit more just to bring it up to the consistency we want. And then we're going to riddle it. So a little bit more, just a bit at a time. And that's coming along nicely. We don't want it sort of claggy, but just wet enough to, to, to make into balls. And that's looking good. We'll pop the riddle in there as well and the reason I do this is it's not so much to remove the lumps I'm not too bothered about that because tench can eat a lot of food it's more just to put air into the mix it just makes it more reactive okay I'm just pushing the last bit of the mix through the riddle it's now getting to the stage where it's nice and fine as I want um, and the last step is just to add some particles I'm not going to add anything really big, so I don't, don't want to give the fish loads to eat. Uh, just enough to keep them interested. So we've got a bit of the hemp here, and this is the, uh, the bio bloodworm hemp. I'll add a bit of extra flavour, and just I like this stuff because there's lots of tiny particles there, and it just keeps the fish active for ages. And it just keeps them interested, so I'm not going to go too crazy. A couple of little handfuls of that. Um, I'm also you know, add some of these crab and krill pellets. Exactly the same flavour as the ground bait, so these will match up perfectly. It's a range of sizes, but most of them are fairly small. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna add too much food value to the mix. And again, two or three little handfuls, and that'll do nicely. And then all I'm doing is making sure that's evenly dispersed through the mix. And then it's ready to ball in. Okay, so we've mixed the ground bait and the next job is to plumb the depth. Um, and where fish like crucians are concerned, it's really important to do this accurately. And uh, one handy little tip is to use a lighter plummet than you would normally. You see great big things on sale, but um, when there's a lot of silt on the bottom, sometimes those will give you a reading that's quite inaccurate, you know, by as much as a couple of inches. These are light, they don't dig in so much. And I want a bait that's really literally scraping the bottom, so that any touch on that bait, and we'll get some indication on the float. Um, and I'm going to be looking at the area where the marginal shelf drops away and we'll aim for the bottom of the slope. We're going to start with a simple two line attack today. Um, let's have a quick look at the rigs. This is a float taking half a gram of weight. 
nice and sturdy. It's got the line goes through the body because obviously if we're fishing for things like tench, we could have some interesting times. Um, it's about four and a half, five feet of depth. Rig's really simple, a bulk, a couple of little number 10s. And I use stops rather than shot because I just find they ping off the line less when you're fighting fish like carp and tench. And a little barbless size 16 hook for pellet. Okay, so we've plumbed the depth on both of the lines we're gonna fish. Next job's to introduce some bait. Um, not gonna go too crazy, but I wanna start fairly positive. So we're gonna try four little balls like that. It's about the size of a uh, little bigger than a walnut. Um, just lay down a little bed of bait. And because I think it might be a bit tricky, I'm not gonna go chucking them in willy-nilly. I'm gonna use a pole cup, get it nice and accurate. My hook bait of choice today is gonna be one of these Arctic krill and crab soft hook pellets. I'll just pop the lid open. They smell, I was gonna say lovely, but actually they smell pretty hellish. But if you're a, if you're a tench, that's gotta smell pretty good. Um, I'm also gonna boost them slightly though with um, some of the matching glug. And one of the really nice bits about the bait range is that everything matches up. So there's, you know, nothing's iffy or out of place um, with the different ingredients. They all work perfectly together. Um, so we're just gonna give a nice even coating of this stuff and that will make our hook bait really stand out in the water. exactly what we came for but it's nice to put something in the net anyway. Oh there you go, not exactly what you come to Marsh Farm for but that's a very nice roach. You're happy catching a roach of that sort of stamp anywhere. Nearly ready. Oh, when you tell you when you've been waiting this long for one. Finally, I just tried the pellet light line again. And at long last, we've got a tench, and that is more famous for its crucians here, but that is oh. That is a decent sized tench, that's a real chunk of a fish. they've been a while coming and it's funny that just when everyone starts packing and going home for their tea seems to be when the fish come on here maybe they, these guys are used to clearing up oh, there's a solid tench worth the wait that one beautiful well it's been a hard day but it was worth staying on in the end we, we got our tench eventually once the locals packed up and went home for their tea, the tench started eating theirs, basically. We just kept feeding the pellet line and eventually putting a bit of extra bait in, brought them on in the end. Uh, so yeah, tough day, but worth staying on. And on that note, we'll get them back. <laughs> <laughs> 